everyday people, everyday life. With me, Cheryl Tabadell. Stay tuned because I'll be right back and we're going to get started with my very special guest. Stay tuned. Cheryl Tabit L. I have the privilege of having with me on today Latoya. Latoya, thank you. Thank you so much for um, agreeing to be with me so we can talk about what's going on in your everyday life. I'm going to turn it over to her and we're going to hear what it is she has to say. This is an everyday person living her everyday life. What's going on, Latoya? First of all, thank you so much for having me on today. Thank you for accepting. <laughs> no problem at all. Um, for me, I'm just an everyday um, occurrence of the working single parent. Um, being able to go out and make the money, and for me, for how I work, I make individual appointments with different people, different areas, different cities, different you know um, counties, and I travel to each one of these different counties to these mm -hmm. people. And um, some of the things throughout the day is I can schedule out my day the way I believe it's supposed to go. And then in the midst of the day, people will cancel. People that gave their word and didn't keep their word. Um, and that right there for, when I say for how I work, I get paid per person that I see. And that's something that, um, that kind of, I mean, it can be a stressor at times or it can mm -hmm. be very bothersome being, making sure that the monies that are um, accumulated or made in a day to make sure that my family is taken care of. Right, okay. right. So whenever, so you're saying that whenever people, um, I, let's say, renege um, on their agreement, mm -hmm. then um, it throws another, it throws a monkey wrench into the rest of your day, into the rest of your planning, and it takes away from your income and the food on your table. So, and you said it's a, it's something like a stressor. Um, what 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 is it? What literally do you go through once you once you get a cancellation that you weren't expecting? Of course, you don't expect anybody to cancel, but when you receive those cancellations, then um, what does it do? How do you, I mean? What do you do in that place? In that place, the only thing I can do is first of all uh, keep that nice, courteous customer service kind of a attitude with them and let them know, okay, well, you know, thank you, or we'll reschedule, or however. But um, sometimes it gets to that place where it's the I What's that, the real deal? That's what I'm saying. It gets to those places where it's, uh, I'm like, oh my goodness, my money is about to, be, I'm not going to have enough. Short, <laughs> short, right? The, the numbers are not going to um, equal out mm -hmm. or either it's going to be on the lesser side of the, on the negative, on the red tape side right, of things. And right. I'm not going to have my, you know, my mind goes immediately, okay, well, I do. I have a, a now a high schooler constantly still growing. So yes. clothing. Yes. He's, eating yeah <laughs> he is eating yeah so you know big just wanting to um having that mindset of okay now what do i do what can i do in this place right here other than yeah i know i gotta keep on going and possibly reschedule these people right but you know what's next that's because you're depending on this this is this is your livelihood you're depending on this and um so um how how is it Okay, I know what you say you do whenever you get to that place of cancellation. Um, you know, you say the, the customer service and how you're so friendly and you do the rescheduling, but yet really inside you feel like, hey, you know what, this, this, this is taking away from me, literally, not only from me, but from my family. And you've so, wasted my time. <laughs> right, and, and, and time, you're right, and time. So, so um, going forward, how, how, do, how do you handle that? I mean, because I understand that you probably can't, 
you can't, um, you don't know when a person will cancel after you schedule. So, so, so how do you, I guess, what is your coping mechanism? What is the, what is your coping mechanism? My coping mechanism? <laughs> yes. I will, I will eat, <laughs> lay down, come on, and go come to sleep. on. Right. <laughs> That's that. And I understand that because some people do, some people just, you, it's not that you give up in the day, but it's like, what else can you do in the day? That's right. But let's talk about, let's, let's get on another positive note because we understand what happens, but there's also a solution. There's also something else that we can do in, in the place of what it is we do. And as we heard, you will, you will eat, you will go to sleep, you, you, you will lay it down. Um, tell me now, I want you to tell me, tell me what you can do in the place of a cancellation that you can still yet be productive because as it is what we're not going to do is we're not going to let life everyday life beat us down and put us down and make us eat and go to sleep yes. that's what we're not going to do no more no more we're not going to do that so in that place then we need to find out what do you need to do as a filler to be productive Okay, so what? They get canceled. But if I'm not mistaken, I think you were telling me uh, you you have you have another another source of income, another job that you work. So let's let's say that you got you, you know you received the cancellation. Don't lay down. Let's go to the other job and let's start in that place. Let's start working productively in that place. You're right, and <laughs> that brings to mind something that I do as well when I do meet those appointments in the conversations that I have with the different people, I will also, if, if the door is open, I'll walk through that door and introduce that business as well, or that skill Great. as well. And it does, um, it picks up, I get other orders outside of doing this, but I'll get orders for the other business. And that does, you're right, that's gonna keep me busy right there, being right. able to go home and Yes, I, I'll get me some ice or eat something on the way home. <laughs> so when I get there, I can keep on working. I, I won't be so tired <laughs> and, um, you know, go into that. But I, I do. That, it, that that does. That is a feeling. You're right. That's exactly what I do. And um, also, I stop sitting down eating. I stop going to the, because that's a, a conscious decision that I make to do. I purposely go to my couch, turn my TV on, and sit there and watch until I fall asleep. Well, I consciously now made the decision, okay, instead of going to the couch, I'll go to the table, have my laptop open up, and I'll just start brainstorming and just start creating different things that way. So, Latoya, in conclusion, um, how is it that you, um, going forward, and, and that's, what, that's what it's all about, I mean, everyday people, everyday life, but life doesn't stand still for us. It doesn't stand still. And the decisions that we have to make every day in life is a decision to be made. We can't not not make the decision that needs to be made that day concerning whatever it is that has us stump or whatever it is that's trying to keep us in that place that day. So with my saying that, I want you now to look and I want you to tell them going forward. See, because it's not until you can make the decision that you need to make to do what it is you need to do, not to let everyday life beat you down. So with that being said, and you coming out and you speaking with us and you letting us know, you know, what it is you face, you know, in your everyday life, the challenges that come to you. Um, what is it that you would like to um, have them to know that they too can do? Okay. Just as I, I'm, I'm no different than you. We all are living this life make the conscious decision to do other than to make a conscious mm, decision I like other than because when it comes down to it the best thing and the only thing that uh, is going to okay, I'm so sorry. No, you're good. <laughs> the only thing that I can do this is, is continue dream. to live my life knowing not just laying there and allowing the, the things just to come to me or to come at me and attack me, but knowing that I have to live life, knowing that people are gonna continue to counsel, to know that um, people are gonna change their mind, they're not gonna keep their word, exactly. know this, accept that, and, con and consciously make the decision to continue to go forward. Find other ways, don't depend on their word, but truly mm. and honestly depend on, you know, knowing that, okay, depend on something happening <laughs> and making that. the decision to go forward in that 
and love that to I do. I thank you so very much for being with me on today. And for everyone that's looking and listening, um, I'm sure that every day we're, we're, we're faced with cancellations in life too. Things, in other words, things are just not going like we want them to go every day in a day. However, interject, put something else in that place. Whatever it is that you need to put in that place of, you know, to fill that void, there is something else that we can all do to be productive. And as we walk the day out and come to the end of the day, already know that, you know, you did all that you could do in that day. And as I always say to close, you know, and if life lasts and death pass, and the Lord says the same, tomorrow is another day. Another day that we can start over and we can be productive in that day. And we can go further in the next day than what we went the day before. So I thank you so much. Thank you, Latoya, for being with me on today. And I do. I want you out there. I want you to um, give me your thoughts about about our um, about this show. Do it. Please um, email me. Uh, the email is going to be down at the bottom. It's going to be Cheryl Tabit L at gmail.com. And the first 25 people to email me just to give me your thoughts on this program, I'm going to give you one of these Everyday People, Everyday Life shirts. I'm going to do that just for you giving me your thoughts. So I hope you understand and I hope we all get to the place where we know that you know what? Everything that happens to us in a day, we're not extraordinary people and we're not ordinary people either. But we're everyday people living life every day. So until the next time, please join me the next time for Everyday People, Everyday Life. Thank you.